Nikki and Brie report, uh, departing WWE and starting a new chapter. They changed their names on social media to Nikki and Brie Garcia. They will be the Garcia twins going forward. When our contract came up with WWE mutually, we all knew we just needed to head into this new chapter, she said. Next chapter of our lives about taking it to the next level, owning who we are, being unapologetically us, fiercely walking through that open door. <laughs> You're right over there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just fiercely walking through that open door. Well, to be yeah. fair, it's actually fiercely, but I screwed it up. <laughs> I actually said fiercely. <laughs> and I don't even know why. <laughs> but it was funnier that way. I will fiercely say here that uh you know they last uh, couple of months they they weren't happy with WWE and they weren't uh they weren't subtle about it. They made comments on social media. They were they were angry about things. And, you know, it's funny. I should probably contact this person, but uh you know, they were really upset about something. I, I believe leading into the Royal Rumble, and uh, I, I forget what it what it was, but uh, they were mad about something involving the women. And then, uh, and then someone was like, "Just wait till the Royal Rumble. They'll apologize." And uh, they didn't. And I don't know what I was supposed to wait for at the Royal Rumble because there was nothing. So uh, I don't know, but they they weren't happy about this. They weren't happy about that. They were backstage at AEW for the Brian Danielson MGF hour long match. Hey, listen, I ain't saying they're going to AEW. I don't know what they're doing, but I do know that they are out of WWE for now. So uh, you know, we'll see what they do in their uh, in legitimately their future endeavors. We'll see what they do. Well, on their Sirius XM podcast daily that they do, where they talked about their retirement there or they're leaving WWE I should say they they made sure to say that they were executive producers now of these sorts of reality shows and different things like that and with Daniel Bryan being over there Bryan Danielson it would always make sense especially because he's keeps talking about going home that we see Brie Bella and maybe pop up in some sort of situation when it comes to him. And if they are planning on doing things again in this new world of Warner Brothers Discovery, where they seem to be looking for a lot less expensive programming, reality shows fit the bill. And I don't know, again, what Nikki Bella's situation is with that bar Mageddon show, whatever that is, but... You know, I don't know if that's got anything that to cross over and gets in the way of anything, but you know, hey, them and AEW, at least as personalities, once in a while, only really kind of makes sense. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ric Flair. Ric Flair. Who? No, Ric Flair. Who? <laughs> I didn't get that one. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> Bailey. Bailey who? We Bailey made it home in time to watch SmackDown. That's not how not my jokes work. <laughs> we Bailey? What does that mean? She's small. It's <laughs> we barely made it home. Oh, we <laughs> <laughs> wow, your Invisalign made you dumb. <laughs> Why did the referee referee's feet smell when he was working? Because he was a dude doodle. <laughs> what? <laughs> because he was a doodle. His feet smelled because he was a doodle. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. What? See, what? These, these, these are so dumb that they're funny. Am I high? I don't. I, I drove here. I think I was sober when I got here. If you enjoy these videos, for just seven dollars and ninety-nine cents per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.